Good morning and welcome to ForexTV.com's AM Forex New York. Today is Monday, February 11th. I'm Caitlin Sisney. The yen climbed by the most in more than two weeks against the dollar as a decline in Asian and European stocks prompted investors to reduce holdings of higher yielding assets bought with loans from Japan. Yen is trading at 106.75. UK government bonds fell the most in two weeks after a government report showed factories raised prices at the fastest annual pace since 1991. The decline pushed two-year yields up from a two-and-a-half-year low, and the pound rose against the dollar, as the producer price data limited the Bank of England's scope for cutting interest rates. Sterling is trading at 194.78. Meanwhile, euro is trading at 145.53. Today we're joined by Bob Kozak from Alaron. Bob will give his outlook for the forex market as we head into the week. Good morning, Caitlin, and all your listeners out there. Let's take a look at the financial markets overnight, especially the currencies. Carry traders unwinding their trades, uh, covering Japanese yen as equity markets in uh, Japan and Asia down right here. Just take a look right here, starting with the Aussie dollar. Take a look at the uh, futures basis march as we speak. Aussie's up 88 at 90.11, and looking at the sterling. Up 54, 194.65 as we do speak. A higher uh, producer price index putting some pressure as far as rate cuts go. Uh, we'll have to see if indeed that impedes the uh, potential rate cuts pending right here. Canadian dollar, uh, I'm sorry, Canadian dollar up 24 at 1.0011 despite the fact that, uh, let's see here, Governor Caney uh, over in Tokyo did signal that uh, the Bank of Canada would lower rates because of uh, economic uh, slowdown over there. So again, Still up 24 against a slumping dollar. Dollar currently at 76.525, 76.525, down 29 and a half ticks as we do speak. Uh, news out of the uh, Tokyo meeting of the G7 suggested that financial turmoil uh, in these markets will continue due to subprime losses and other concerns. Uh, I, I see we do have some problems uh, in Germany. Well, let's see here, second largest bank. Uh, let's see here. I, well, first of all, let's see here. Second largest bank, uh, Commerce Bank AG, uh, having some problems here. IKB, Deutsche uh, Industry Bank, uh, looking for a rescue plan due to some subprime losses. So, again, a little bit more uh, turmoil over in Germany, a couple large banks over there. Despite the fact that ECB President uh, Trichet still contends that the economic fundamentals are sound, all right, maintaining that 4% rate over there. Uh, looking at the euro right now, up 46 at 145.39. Uh, we did have Alex Weber, European Council member, stating that uh, there is no plans to lower rates or raise rates at this time, but they are concerned about future inflation. And uh, Japanese yen here up 61. Again, unwinding of carry trades. Uh, had seen uh, uh, a number of uh, other central banks uh, taking profit and risk off the table and covering Japanese yen shorts, 93.96, up 60 as we do speak. Looking at Swiss franc, Swiss franc up 42 also at 91.24 against that weaker dollar. Not much on the economic schedule here today in the U.S., so uh, that's about it for a wrap. All right, have a good trading week, and we'll speak to you again next week. Thank you very much. Thanks, Caitlin. Thank you, listeners. Thank you, Bob. That's all for your AM Forex New York. I'm Caitlin Sisney. Join us again later for another update right here on ForexTV.com. Have a great day.